to another important aspect is material management. We have to deal with different types of materials. We will, we should know what are the different types of materials and how to handle them. We cannot uh, store cement bags in a wet or a damp place, or maybe we cannot store the glass panels one above one in the vertical stack. We should store glass panels horizontally in a inclined way. So these are the some basic basic ideas which a material manager should have while while procuring while storing the material, purchasing which which materials are to be purchased and what are who are the potential vendors in the local market. Uh, it is it is suggested like to have the materials from the local market itself to the local suppliers that it reduces the cost of transportation. Also, procurement is very important aspect in the material management as you should have a plan like where to protect what materials are, are to be procured and when to be procured this all includes as an inventory management inventory management would include resources as well which are the resources which are the tools and techniques we have or the equipments we have basically after and this is the basic, the critical component of any construction project, which is field operations. The construction field operations would include processes like excavations, flooring, method or process of construction operations, the site conditions, what are the site conditions, what is the temperature around it, what is the time of project, these should be taken into account. The equipment used, we may have a scrapers, rollers, JCPs, so which type of equipment is suitable for the site that we have to take into consideration. The resources requirement, what are the resources, what are the labor requirement for for individual process, what like for painting it takes around two people working for eight hours to paint a wall of let's say eight, eight by eight feet. So what are the resources required for for excavation? These, these are the components which we, have, which we should know while discussing about the project. And this helps you to plan or schedule the activities. Then we can have a conventional techni techniques as well as the modern machinery and tools. Uh, just to pick, give a quick review of modern tools or modern machineries, modern techniques include C4X uh, bricks, which you might have seen. So nowadays C4X bricks, which are light in weight, are used instead of traditional bricks. So we should always come up with a new techniques which can save the cost of project without compromising the value or quality of the project. And lastly, safety precautions, wherein all the safety measurement, all the safety components has to be taken into account. With this, we are done with the, with the, with the construction activities. Now, now let's focus on the construction sector in India, which is quite optimistic and emerging. Construction sector in India employs around 50 million people overall, and it's about $780 billion worth of infrastructure projects which are underway. These projects include metro projects, smart cities, bullet train projects, industrial corridors, railway projects. Uh, for, for the bullet train project, the Japan is going to finance 13.3 billion dollars as a loan and is estimated to be completed by 2028. There is a proposal for 100 smart cities, which is under conceptual stage right now. Five major industrial corridors connecting major cities of nation are under planning. Wastewater treatment plants or sanitization plant are being encouraged under Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. In fact, I was a part of wastewater treatment plant, which was under Swachh Bharat Abhiyan and Ganga it was Kanga Abhya, Swachh Kanga Abhya. We have metro projects, which are three trillion worth to be proposed in the next five years. And some of the metro projects are under construction, as you might know. Indian population is expected to reach the 1.6 billion by 2050, which would need, which would require more and more housing projects to foster the increased need of the population. So. Overall, we are in a good shape regarding the construction sector, which is always booming, and we have much requirement of construction managers as well as construction engineers in the industry. 
the images you can see is this is the Mumbai Metro Lane project. These are the five lines proposed in Mumbai Metro. And this is the Delhi Mumbai corridor, basically, which is proposed right now. This is the image of bullet train from Japan. It's not been in, in India. These are the components of a smart city, which which is under conceptual stage right now. Now let us discuss about the construction sector now after Corona. So what are the impact of uh, COVID due to due to in construction sector due to this pandemic? Indian GDP collapsed by around 24 percent in in the second quarter of 2020, this financial year, and construction sector shrank by 50 percent, which is not a good sign for us. The construction investment has fallen by 30 percent. There are many of job loss. The official estimate is around 50 lakh, but there would be some more. The housing.com has done this study and they have found it like housing sales has been declined by 79 percent, while the new project launches fall by 81 percent. Uh, while talking around the industry, it has been seen like builders are willingly to sell the project on no profit, no loss theory, so which is they are willingly to sell their project at a low cost, all the negotiated cost. Since we have lost too many of labor force due to migration from, from cities to villages, uh, it is the wages of construction workers are expected to rose by 15 to 20%. And these days we are not getting much of laborers for the, for the construction activities. I would just like all of you to have a look around this image, the, the report from housing.com where they have uh, discussed about the short-term and medium impact of COVID on real estate. The prices, growth and sales may decline in near term. The builders' profit margins have topped due to scarcity and of the, of the potential buyers. Since many of people are opting for co-living, like short-term uh, co-living spaces, so people are working from home. so there might be an impact on commercial sector as well. The malls are closed down right now. The commercial sectors like theaters and everything is closed right now. So this is the impact right now. And uh, since many of people don't have jobs, they don't have the money to buy the projects or homes. So this has impacted you know, in another way. The potential research or the scope of construction project management in the in a long run is basically IoT. IoT stands for Internet of Things in construction industry. So we can do the prefabrication and module construction in a in a dedicated area. We we should have advanced building materials like C4H, which we deal about. We are having 3D printing or additive manufacturing. 3D printing of concrete is under way. And uh, there are some projects which have used the 3D printing technology for, for making concrete. Autonomous construction, virtualization, and reality like monitoring the project via, via different softwares is something which we look, can look for. Analytics is something very important when it comes to the major public projects and the public the projects which are having the capital major capital risk, uh, wireless and monitoring con and connected equipment, we can have a clones to to monitor the buildings. So instead of labors going on each floor to monitor uh, each and every component of of the building, we can have the clones with with the cameras installed in, and um, we can get the high quality images of the of that structures which we want to check. And uh, we can have a Wi-Fi enabled or wireless communications all over the slide to, to communicate in a better manner. Cloud time or real-time collaboration is something which is really helpful to have a database of various materials, various estimation tools. So this way we can have our project or uh, information ready for any project activity. And lastly, there is a building information modeling, which is basically 3D modeling of our building, of our structure, 
estimating it with the help of the estimating tools. So building information modeling is we term. So basically, it's more of 2D and 3D buildings and uh, checking its energy components as well as the structural components on Revit. What are the job positions available for construction project management industry, construction management basically? First one is you can be a project manager handling the various department, handling the various project man projects all together. You can be an individual contractor managing a project, managing the funds for the project and uh, looking at the activities. One can be an estimator to, to get the quantities and the estimation for the project. Planning and scheduler deals with basically the activities, resources involved with it and the time duration for each and every activity. You can have a, we can be a safety manager if we have a certification of OSHA or EHS certification, which is environmental health and safety certification. So one can be a safety manager based on it, which looks around the safety, safety measures around the site. One can be a material manager, which we discussed in our slide material management. And the last one is you can have your own project management consultancy, wherein you can have all of the various people or technicians available with you and you can manage the project individually. So right now, based on the LinkedIn database, what we can expect is a starting salary of 25,000 for, for the role and average salary in a, of, in a, in a midterm would be around 45,000 in rupees. The average working hours per week right now for construction engineer is 40 and 30, but it may vary according to project size, project deadlines, and all. There was a report by Project Management Institute, and it has estimated around 7 million jobs in the market in the, construction, in the Indian construction industry from 2017 to 27. So in these 10 years, it's been expected to have a job of around 7 million in construction industry. These are the references. And finally, to sum up, I would quote John Allen, which is a famous mathematician. He's not a mathematician in America. Uncertainty is the only certainty there is, and knowing how to live with insecurity is the only security. So construction project management is all about dealing with the uncertain activities, uncertainties in, on the site, and managing the risk. So right now, I ask you to have all of you to have your answer in the form of question and answers and it would be great to interact with you.